mixed fractions. Look at the number 4 1 by 3. Yes, it's just one number. We have seen numbers like 4. It's a whole number. 1 by 3 is a proper fraction. A proper fraction is a fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator. This mixed fraction is simple to understand. It's the sum of these two parts. The whole part and the fractional part. Let's write the whole part a bit differently. 4 can also be written as 12 by 3 because 3 times 4 is 12. And we write 1 by 3 as is. When two fractions having the same denominator are added, we can simply add the numerators over the common denominator. Let's zoom out slightly. This can be written as 12 plus 1 by 3. Add the numerators over the denominator and it becomes 13 by 3. So this mixed fraction can also be written as an improper fraction. 4 1 by 3 is the same as 13 by 3. But let's look at a very logical way of understanding mixed fractions. We are looking at the mixed fraction 4 1 by 3. We represent this 4 with 4 circles of the same size. What about the fractional part 1 by 3? The fractional part is 1 divided into 3 equal parts. So for 1 by 3, we draw 1 circle and divide it into 3 equal parts. It's one part out of these 3 parts. Now let's shade one part to represent 1 by 3. Now we have 4 plus 1 by 3. These 4 circles can be looked at in a different way. We divide each of these circles into 3 equal parts. Nothing changed. We just divided each circle into 3 equal parts. To represent 4, we shade the 4 circles. What did we just do? We shaded 12 1 by 3 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10, 11, 12. This should make it clear. The red shaded parts can be written as 12 by 3. 12 1 by 3 parts. And this blue shaded part can be written as 1 by 3. Adding all these parts should give us 4 1 by 3. Adding this gives us 13 by 3. Keep in mind, the fractional part in a mixed fraction should always be a proper fraction, which means its numerator should be less than its denominator. <laughs>